Before the last ice age, about 10,000 years ago, megabeasts used to roam the earth. And they are called megabeasts for a reason. Some of them were huge animals. In this video, we'll explore a list with five largest, most terrifying mammalian predators in prehistory. Coming at five is Smilodon fatalis. Smilodon is one of the most famous prehistoric mammals and the best known saber-toothed cat. Although commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, it was not closely related to the tiger or other modern cats. Smilodon lived in the Americas during the Pleistocene Epoch. The genus was named in 1842 based on fossils from Brazil. Overall, Smilodon was more robustly built than any extant cat, with particularly well-developed forelimbs and exponentially long upper canine teeth. Its jaw had a bigger gait than that of modern cats, and its upper canines were slender and fragile, being adapted for precision killing. In North America, Smilodon hunted large herbivores such as bison and camels, and it remained successful even when encountering new prey species in South America. Smilodon is thought to have killed its prey by holding it still with its forelimbs and stamming it with its huge canine teeth. Smilodon fatalis had a weight of 160 to 280 kilograms and a height of 100 centimeters. Smilodon died out at the same time that most North and South American megafauna disappeared about 10,000 years ago. Its reliance on large animals has been proposed as the cause of its extinction, along with climate change and competition with other species, but the exact cause is still unknown. Number four, Panthera tigris salensis. The beast is also known as the Nagandong tiger, which is an extinct tiger subspecies that lived in the Sunderland region of Indonesia during the Pleistocene epoch. Fossils of tigris salensis were excavated primarily near the village of Nangdong, hence the common name. Only seven fossils are known, making the study of the animal very difficult but the available studies of the remains of this creature show that it may be much larger than a modern tiger. Scientists estimate that a large male could have weighed up to 470 kilograms, with a height of 1.2 meters, in which case it would have been heavier and taller than the largest extant tiger subspecies, Simulodon populator. Number three, American lion. Panthera leo atrox is commonly known as the American lion, is an extinct panthering cat that lived in North America during the Pleistocene Epoch about 340 to 11,000 years ago. It is known as the North American Cave Lion. Fossils of this animal were excavated from Alaska to Mexico. The name Panthera atrox means cruel or fearsome panther in Latin. We don't know if it's cruel, but we definitely know it was a fearsome predator. The American lion is estimated to have measured 1.6 to 2.5 meters from the tip of the nose to the base of the tail and stood 1.2 meters at the shoulder. A study in 2012 estimated a range of 235 to 532 kilograms for adult males, which suggests that the lion was heavier than Simulodon. About 80 American lion individuals have been recovered in Los Angeles, so their morphology is well known. Their features strongly resemble those of modern lions, but they are considerably larger and are believed to have been the largest subspecies of lion ever. Number two, Hyenodon gigas. Hyenodon was one of the most successful carnivorous mammals from Eurasia, North America, and Africa, with species existing temporarily from the Ecoene until the middle Miocene, existing for about 26 million years. The various species of Hyenodon competed with each other for food and territory, but the largest was Hyenodon gigas one handed on to rule them all. It weighed about 500 kilograms. It was around three meters long with a height of 1.4 meters. Typically of early carnivorous mammals, individuals of Hyenodon had a very massive skull, but only a small brain. But this evolutionary trade-off, brain for muscle, gave Hyenodon one of the most powerful biting force ever. It was able to crush bone with a single bite. The neck was shorter than the skull while the body was long and robust and ended in a long tail for balance when it charged its prey. Number one, South American short-faced bear. The South American short-faced bear's scientific name is Actotherium 
angustens, which is an extinct species within Eurostate of the Pleistocene. Their ancestors migrated from North America to South America during the Great American Interchange. Following the formation of the Isthmus of Panama during the late Pleistocene, the oldest confirmed remains date back to 1.2 million years ago. The species Actotherium augustens from Buenos Aires shows an individual estimated to be 3 meters long with a height of 2 meters and 3.5 meters tall when standing on two legs, almost twice the length of young Arnold here. It weighed between 1,700 kilograms and 2,042 kilograms, though the authors consider the upper limit as improbable and say that 1,749 kilograms is more likely. It would still make the genus the largest bear ever found and the largest carnivorous land mammal ever known.